Thanks to That Game Company for sponsoring this video. Hi, this is Ariel. Bonjour. Welcome to my channel where we make fun costumes and weird stuff. Today is an exciting video. I am making an outfit from a video game that is also an outfit in a music video of one of my favorite singers. And the video game company is paying me to make the outfit for me. <laughs> It's blowing my mind. I am so happy about this. The game is Sky, Children of the Light. A lot of people are playing it. It's from the developer That Game Company. They also have made Flower and also this game called Journey, which I played twice last year. It's very good. Highly recommend that one also. Anyway, so Sky is a multiplayer game where you play this kind of cute little gray characters and you are constantly flying around and sliding in the sand and going on adventures. There are all these Uh, stories with uh, some light spirits. It's very poetic and pretty and relaxing with just uh, a lot of challenge as well. You can meet other players and do activities together. The first time I discovered that there was some player who gave me a candle and then they took my hand and we started flying in the clouds together. It was, I was like, oh, so cute. Anyways, I play on Switch, but it's also available on your smartphone and also on PlayStation. And it's free to play with no ads, no paywall. It's really worth a try. So they have events and seasons in the game. And in this winter, they have the season of Aurora, like the singer, whom I love. And her music is so good and her voice is just... Oh, you probably know these songs. So they partnered with her and, and in the game they have those sections where you just follow her voice. They have made an in-game concert. It's such a pretty experience. It's available until uh, January 2nd. And they have added some cosmetics inspired by her music videos which is what I'm here for. So I chose a set inspired by the Cure For Me video and I'm going to make it. You can learn more about Sky by clicking the link in my description. And now, let's go! This neck piece has a very pretty shape, but it's a bit complicated, so I'm going to drape it on my mannequin using, you guessed it, bed sheets. I make it into four pieces, two at the front, two at the back. It's very handy that I have all the assets in the game so I can reference it in 3D. <laughs> I wish all my costume references could be accessed like this. I can draw this shape using chalk and a marker. The pieces can be taken off the mannequin and put flat on a piece of paper so I can transfer the design using the roulette. With that I can trace a second set so I can have both sides of the neck and I can make a mock-up that I can try on. The adjustments needed were very minimal so now we can cut off the actual fabric. The green I have is a very very deep color so I'm trying to decide which fabric will match. I think I want to go with some lace. This is a lace uh, shop sample and it's enough to make all the pieces of the color. I'm overlaying the lace on a piece of white cotton and then I will also have white cotton for the lining. I managed to have a seam on the center of all those diamond uh, holes. It was a bit tedious to have really clean sharp edges for those diamonds but it worked with a lot of help from the iron. I attach the layer lining on the outer edge, clipping all those little angles and corners, and turn the whole thing inside out. Now all the diamonds were closed by hand and I attach some snaps in the back so I can put it on, and the color is finished. Now let's make a shirt. In the game and in the music video, they have those little stripes and I couldn't find a matching fabric, so I'm going to make the stripes myself. For this, I bought two pieces of fabric that are almost the same color, but they are not the same material. So hopefully when I cut them into stripes, it would make an interesting difference in texture. First we have a crepe. <laughs> this one is a cotton blend and it has a very nice drape. Let's cut some strips into it. 
fill in some strips of the cotton, which has a bit of shine to it. Okay, color grading is crazy. The colors of those fabric keep changing all the time, but it's like this very deep green with a hint of blue. I'm using a popsicle stick when I sew those strips together because the crepe has a bit of a stretch to it and I want both fabrics to stay very flat together. And the crepe fabric is not keeping its fold very flat compared to the cotton. So I'm ironing those seams flat on the side of the cotton. The top part can be draped on the mannequin. Since it's not really fitted, it took uh, 10 minutes to do. And I use it to cut the lining layer in this very thin grey cotton, which I will use to check the fit. I don't want to waste any of this green, so I'm adding stripes, depending on the size of the pieces that I need. The front and back are assembled at the sides and shoulders, and I need to work on the decoration. In the music video, she has those little uh, pom-pom trims, but in the game, it looks a little bit more like a fridge, so I went with that. I couldn't find the color that I wanted, so I got it in white. And now prepare to die. I tried with some fabric paints, which had a great color, but it made the fringe a little stiff, so it wouldn't move like I want to. So yeah, we need to use some dye. This trim is a blend. It's not like all natural fibers, like cotton, wool, silk. So when you want to dye some synthetic fabric, you need to use synthetic dye. Otherwise, it would not work. Trust me, I failed a lot when trying to dye some synthetic fabrics. Welcome to my kitchen. Fun fact, I am a terrible cook. Mm. Testing on a small piece, which seemed fine at the time. So let's cook this trim. Splooch. Splooch, 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 splooch. I was afraid the color would be a bit too green, but I was so wrong. Ta-da! <laughs> you can see that uh, there is a difference of uh, fiber composition between uh, the different parts of the trim. That's why the dye is not the same color. Uh, so let's try to fix this blue. <laughs> Fortunately, I had some leftover yellow dye. So let's try to fix my mistake. <laughs> And it was uh, less bad, I guess. So I used the last of the yellow dye that I had, cooked it for half an hour, and then I left it to cool down in the dye bath for three hours. And this time it was green. I'm happy with the result. A little fit check to see how long the trim is on my body and how long I need to make this top. Then I measure my arm to see how long the sleeve will be. I want them long like in the game. Then I whip up a sleeve pattern directly onto the fabric. This will not have the stripes because I want this fabric to stay a little bit uh, drapey to dance around. And because of this, they will not be lined, so I'm closing them with a French seam. The sleeve cap is a little bit bigger than the armhole. So to attach the two together and make them fit, I'm adding a little row of stitching to use as a gathering thread. Now let's add the trim to the bottom to finish it off. It is sewn to the bottom of the top, uh, bottom, of, uh, well, to the hem. Then the excess fabric can be cut off. For the neckline, I want to make sure that you don't see the green through the diamond opening of this uh, little white color. So I mark where it needs to be with the chalk and then I cut it off. No! 
To finish this edge, I need to make a neckline facing, which is very simple. You add a piece of fabric on top of your garment. Now we can simply mark roughly where it will end. So it's all around the neckline and cut off the excess. This curved edge can be notched. Then you can add a row of stitching on the inside to keep the facing inside. And the facing is flipped for a clean neckline. Since the crepe is not keeping its fold very nicely, I'm adding a bit of uh, stitching. That way I can keep the fold in the back very flat. I tried it on, then adjusted the hem of the sleeves. These are sewn by hand and I try to make the stitches invisible from the outside. And the satisfying moment of liberating those little fringes. Well, it didn't work that well everywhere. But it was still nice to let the little fringe free. Histoire de paspeler les miches, let's make some pants. I'm using a pattern that I made previously for this. Uh, I just need to adjust the leg to be a little bit wider. I didn't have a zipper in the exact color, so I just used this black one that I already had. But it had a little handle on each side, so I'm just removing one of those. And a little filing on those sharp metal edges. I'm sewing this zipper the lazy way, which is sewing the seam and sticking the zipper in the back. You sew that on and then you can open the first seam that you did. It's not the most professional way to do it, but it works and it looks nice. I give it a 6 out of 10. I did the little zigzag stitch on the crotch seam to secure it. Then close off the length of the legs. I try them on to check the size of the darts that I need to add. Then some facing at the waist to make it a bit sturdier. A little inside stitching to keep this facing hidden, which ended up not very useful since I added the trim on top of that. Then let's make sure that the second trim looks correct. The hem of the pants is just a channel that I can slide an elastic into to make this kind of puffy effect that you see here. With the elastic in, I can close this channel and add the trim on top of this, which will finish the pants. Let's free this fringe. I guess the most iconic thing about Aurora is her hair. I'm not an expert in wigs, so let's try to make this right. This is a cheap wig, but I think that the color looks natural. But to make a synthetic wig look uh, realistic, the first thing is to try and remove the shine. That dreadful plastic shine. First, shampoo. Then a bath of fabric softener. I let this soak overnight. For once it worked really great and it looks a lot less shiny than when I took it out of the package. Don't you think it's funny how we need to make the wigs less shiny but we always try to make our hair more shiny? Wow, so deep. So I started off with separating a bit of hair to make those long strands on the side of her head. Then I use my brand new thin and scissors which I absolutely don't know how to use. I'm clearly not a professional hairdresser. I usually cut my own hair, but since it's really curly, it doesn't really matter if it's well done. But on straight hair, it's very visible. I check the length of those bangs on my own head. I did some teasing in the back to give it more volume. And I adjusted the little details to make it more realistic. 
The thinning scissors were really helpful in this. And by the way, I put a big bowl underneath the headstand so I don't have all those synthetic hair all around. But I'm keeping those for another day. Maybe they will be useful to make a hairpiece. Anyways, the wig looked a little bit too bobby, like a bit too round. So I used a hair straightener and some hairspray to give it the more correct shape. It might not look super impressive, but I'm really proud of this wig because it really looks like the Aurora hair, I think. I mean, I did what I could. <laughs> Final accessory is those little stars on the cheeks. I thought I would just do them in makeup or maybe cut a piece of paper and glue it to my face. But why do that when you can have rhinestones? I drew the shape, added uh, some non-stick paper and a piece of tool. Then I can glue the rhinestones on this. A little tip to pick up the rhinestones, you don't need any fancy tools, just something pointy and a tiny bit of beeswax. This is the perfect level of sticky. You can pick up the rhinestones with it, but it's less sticky than the glue, so the rhinestone stays in place. I'm using a cheap E6000 to glue the rhinestones in. Just a little dab of glue and then you put the rhinestones on it. Don't put the glue on the rhinestone first. For me, it's the easier method. And then those little stars, they can be peeled off easily from the non-stick paper. I agree that they are a bit messy now, but after cutting off the tool, I think they are tiny, perfect little stars. With all this work done, I wanted to relax a little bit and check out the game, because at that moment, they released the concert thing it was so cute, they did a sequence where you get inside the big arena and there is this majestic aurora and you have the music of the game and the lights everywhere, everybody was flying around. I love cozy games and this was just way too cute. So I took out the green screen and I realized that my outfit was green. But no! I tried the blue fabric, but it didn't work. I'm so stupid. I couldn't do all the stupid ideas I had for this. 